Hello, writer, and welcome back to my life. It's Writer Wednesday, where I give you my tips and advice on the art and the business of writing and tell you how I do what I do as an indie author. Today's question comes from patron David F. Ferris, who asks about BookBub, and there's a few questions, so I'm just gonna kind of read some of them out to you. When you landed your first featured deal, how many books in the Underrealm series had you released by that point? How many reviews did the book that landed the deal have? Do you wish you'd waited for a more opportune time, or do you feel like it was the perfect time? When do you recommend shooting for a featured deal, and when should a writer pursue one? Thanks for the question, David. I'm going to do my best to answer for this one, although BookBub in general can be a bit inscrutable at the best of times. So the first part of the answer to this question is actually relatively easy. You should always apply for BookBub. Always, all the time, with every single book that you have. BookBub is famous in the indie community and I guess in the writing and publishing community in general for just being very, very discerning. A tiny, tiny percentage of books submitted to BookBub get accepted for featured deals. Having a good cover helps, having more reviews helps, having impressive statistics or winning awards or being on one of the bestseller lists helps. But the number one determining factor of whether you get a BookBub featured deal or not is number of times times that you submit. That's it. Now, you are only allowed to submit the same book for consideration once every 30 days. So just take every single book that you've got and just submit it whenever you possibly can. Nobody really understands the entire selection process that goes through BookBub, but it is slightly editorial. There are actual people who look at your submission and make a judgment call based on that. And so anything that you can say to sort of like help your case in the comments when you're submitting, you know, might actually help because you are actually talking to a real person. I have gotten BookBubs in the past when I have included in the comments that I have gotten BookBubs before and they have been very intensely successful and sold a lot of books and I would really like to have one on this certain date for a certain reason. But on the other hand, I've also submitted with stuff like that in the comments before and been rejected. You, you, you kind of don't know. Uh, just number of submissions is the best guarantee. As for when I got my first book bub, I had only published the first three books in the Nightblade epic at that time. It's these three, Nightblade, Mystic, and Darkfire, those ones right there. And I had published those as well as a single volume or box set uh, as, as one entire book, which was available in, in ebook format, all three books put together. And that is maybe one helpful tip. BookBub really does seem to like box sets a lot, especially if those box sets are relatively higher price, like $9.99, and then they're being discounted down to $2.99 or $0.99. Cents. That seems really good. On the other hand, I have had numerous BookBubs of $0.99 cent books and one BookBub with a $2.99 book, and the $2.99 BookBub was not good. I mean, it was, okay, it wasn't bad. It definitely made its money back, but just compared to a 99 cent BookBub feature deal, it didn't even compare. So I, I actually don't submit for 299 BookBubs anymore because I, I want 99 cents. That's what I want. That is the most successful BookBub period for me. Also free, but if you get a free BookBub, you have to have a very good sell through. Like if you're, if you're giving away the first book in your series free, you need to also promote the box set to people who get the book for free. You get what I mean? But free and 99 cents, not 2.99, uh, and and maybe 1.99, but I've never gotten a 1.99. I just just gotten a 99 cents free and 2.99, and 2.99 is just something I don't even bother with anymore. I don't recall exactly how many reviews I had in the book when I submitted it. I know that uh, it had probably probably over a hundred because I remember I did a very big review push, um, and so I think it had more than a hundred reviews. Can't remember for sure though, sorry. I have also gotten free book bubs on just the first book in the series, Nightblade, and I think that the first time I got a free book bub on this, it had over 500 reviews. The most recent book bub that I got on it, it had over a thousand. So book bub definitely likes lots of reviews. The more reviews you can get, the better. Another part of the question was, do I wish I had waited for a more opportune time? No. No, I just don't. I like it was a perfect time, and the the first book book bub that I got launched me from never having made more than, never having reached $600 in sales in a single month to suddenly making so much every single month that I could be a full-time writer. So I, it is difficult for me to imagine a more opportune time. As far as exactly how opportune that time was, I do think it's worth noting that I had, like I said, written and published the first three books and had published that box set, which was the first book bub that I got. And as soon as I got the book bub, I placed the fourth book up for pre-order immediately. And that was 
was my sell through. When people got the box set of the first three books, as soon as the people who got it on BookBub opened it up, there was an advertisement saying, hey, the fourth book is available for pre-order, go pre-order it right now. And that got, that got a very large number of sales that way. Of course, I had not written the book at that time. So I had that that was one of those books that I produced like way down to the wire and I, I don't I don't do that anymore. And yeah, I do think that you should ideally have a book bub where you 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 do the book bub for free or for 99 cents and then you have another book to sell them. But I I really don't think if you get the opportunity to get a book bub just do it. Even $2.99. If I ever submitted for a 99 cent book pub and book pub said, we would like to feature your book, but we'd like to feature it at $2.99, I would be like, you know what? Sure. Yes, absolutely. Because I know, I know for certain I will still make my money back easily, multiple times over. David described in, in more detail in his comments that he has a book out and the other books are going to be releasing early next year. If those books are already done and if you know for certain they're going to release at those times, get a book bub and push people to pre-order the subsequent books. That's what I did on my very first book bub. It worked like a charm and I w would highly recommend if you know you can get the books done on time. The one scenario I could see is if you literally only have one book out and no other place to, to sell the book to people, no other books that you can sell, then don't get a free book bub, I guess. Because then you'll just get maybe, you know, 20,000 free downloads, but you might, but, but then nobody buys anything or does anything. You might get some people to sign up for your email list if you have an email CTA at the front of your book, but honestly, you don't want free book bub seekers on your email list. Those, those are just not the people that you want on your email list in general. But that would literally be the only scenario in which I would tell somebody not to go for a, a, a free book bub. If you do only have that one book, just go for a 99 cent book bub. Go for 99 cents over and over and over again and, and hope that you eventually get it because you will make your money back. Oh boy. One other general tip about BookBub, and this is not a hard and fast thing, this is not ironclad, but it, 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 BookBub really doesn't seem to like KDP Select anymore. KDP Select is of course the Amazon exclusive program where your book is only published on Amazon and you do not have it published anywhere else. All of the books of Underrealm are currently Amazon exclusive. And they have always been Amazon exclusive. Every single BookBub that I've ever gotten was while the books have been Amazon exclusive. And it was tremendous because it resulted in so many page reads the page reads money income was so much higher than book sales. So, so much higher. And it lasted for so much longer. But we haven't gotten a book bub in, uh, geez, I think it's been over a year. I think it's over a year since we got our last book bub. They just don't seem to like KDP Select anymore. And it makes sense if you consider the fact that they can't tell how many people bought the book off of a BookBub if those people got it on Kindle Unlimited. I don't know if BookBub uses Amazon affiliate links in their sales. I think they don't because I think that's against Amazon's terms of service. However, BookBub is big enough that they might have been able to like, you know, negotiate with Amazon to be able to use affiliate links. I honestly have no idea. And if that's true, if they are using affiliate links and if they get a percentage of every sale, of course they don't want KDP Select books because if somebody goes to the Amazon page and, and, and downloads the book on Kindle Unlimited and reads it for free, the author gets paid, BookBub does not. But this is all just speculation. We don't know what goes on behind the scenes book bub. We, 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 we just don't. Uh, the, the, the general trend that has been spotted by many independent authors is that books that are published on all platforms tend generally to get book bubs more easily than books that are Amazon exclusive. And in fact, my wife and I, Megan, we watch the book bub emails very closely, very, very, very closely. And we don't see any Amazon exclusive books get book bubs these days. Maybe they're happening, but in all of the looking that we do, we, we don't see it. The very last thing that I would tell you about BookBub is that if you are lucky enough to get a featured deal, congratulations, first of all, but second of all, schedule lots of promotion around it and don't do the promotion on the same day as the BookBub. Because if Amazon sees a gigantic spike for one day and then nothing before or after it, they are more likely to penalize your book than if they see like a, a more gradual curve in your sales. So go to a website like bookmarketingtools.com that allows you to do promotional, uh, lots of promotional sites at once. Schedule about half the sites for the day before the book bub and half of the sites for the day after the book bub or spread it out for the day before the book bub and two or three days after the book bub so that you are promoting 
surrounding the book bud and you don't just do everything in one big shot all in one day. And frankly, do as much promotion as you can put on a credit card. If the BookBub costs you $500, you would not be, you, you would, it would be wise to spend another $500 on promos. If I had the opportunity, if I knew they were good promotion sites, I would even spend another $1,000 because nothing makes you stronger than a BookBub. It has literally made me number one in the entire Amazon store. Number one of any book ever. Period. Not ever period, because that implies of all time, but you get what I mean. Okay, there's all my answers on BookBub. I don't know if that was maybe a little bit more than you were bargaining for, David, but I hope that you and everybody else found it helpful. And for anybody else who is watching this video in the future, uh, David and my other $5 patrons on Patreon are the only ones who get to request topics for me to cover in these Writer Wednesday videos, and they get to see all of the videos two weeks before they release to the general public. So if any of that sounds interesting, check out my Patreon right down there, you get uh, free secret weekend videos and a bunch of other cool stuff. Check it out. You can also see my last Writer Wednesday video up there. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye!